Hi, this is Nick from Canada Weld, coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh, today we're going to be taking a closer look at uh, one of our really cool machines here. So this is the Multiprocess MIG Pulse 201. And what I want to do is get a little bit more in depth than we did in our last video and show you guys how to run through some of these programs and how to read the code on the inside of it to help you guide your way through it, okay? Okay, so every single one of these machines comes with one of these handy program tables and adjustable function table glued to the inside of the door. Uh, today we're going to talk about running through some of the different programs, we're going to talk about exactly what they mean, and then after that we're going to play with some of the functions, we're going to explore the burn back controls, a few things like that, and basically we're just going to familiarize, uh, familiarize you guys with how to run through the options on this. Now there's a lot of options here, but once you learn how to change two or three, the rest is all very, very obvious. So today, uh, first thing we're going to do is set up this machine in pulse mode. We're going to put it into uh, program number 11, which is for welding mild steel with 0.8 wire uh, and using argon gas. After that, we're going to jump down the table to program 422, which is welding aluminum, again with 1.0 wire uh, and argon gas. After that, we're going to jump over to the functions and I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the burn back controls, how to adjust the uh, pre-gas, how to adjust the hot start, and the default factory settings just in case you get all muddled up and you need to start over again at the beginning. So uh, don't forget, all this information is in your manual, but it's also really nice just to have it inside your machine. We're going to include a close-up of that for you guys to take a look at and then we're going to flip this machine to the front and we're going to run through the functions and you guys are going to follow it follow it with me as I do it. Okay, so before we get into uh, running through the different functions and the programs, let's just take a look at uh, each one of these buttons here. So right here, this one is for adjusting the thickness. So this is the thickness in millimeter of the material that you're going to be working on. You can see we got an upper limit of 8 mil and you can go as thin as 0 0.5 mil, nice and thin stuff. After that, amperage. This is where we're going to be adjusting our amperage. Here is going to be our wire speed. Over here, these three buttons, is for your arc length, your voltage, and your AC balance. See if we just run through these. Okay, down here, we have the option for MIG, stick, or TIG welding. Once we go down here into jobs, you'll see it says here no jobs, but this machine we can actually program 99 different settings and 99 different jobs into it. Right now there's nothing programmed, so it's just saying no job. We're going to worry about that some other time. So let's go back up here to MIG, and those of you who are inquisitive are probably noticing that the MIG button is flashing, and the other ones were solid. The reason for that is we need to decide if we want to do standard MIG, like MIG manual, or if we want to do pulse, or if we want to do double pulse. So, for that, here we go, program button. So now, we're set in pulse. We can adjust this, this is double pulse. Here we have straight MIG, and here we have MIG manual. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the pulse settings. So let's go back and get into pulse. And the first job that I said we wanted to do was going to be using program 011 off the program chart that we talked about, which is set up for mild steel, 0.8 mil wire, and argon gas. So we're in pulse mode, and these are the different programs. So there's 422, and we want to go down to here. So now we're all set up for the parameters I just gave you. So once we have that, let's go ahead. And now we've, whoops. It's 11, okay. And now it's gonna show us, once we set the thickness of what we're gonna weld on, say 2.5 mil. Now it's already figured out the amperage and it's already figured out the wire speed. That's the synergistic controls uh, working for you and helping you set up the machine. It's like having a little welder living inside the machine for you. But uh, maybe today we want to stick with the pulse and instead we would like to do some aluminum welding. And so for aluminum welding, we would jump into program, oops, 
422. So let's run through these. Now you'll see that there's some gaps here, uh, and that's because the different processes apply to different numbers. So for what we're using, these are the programs that apply, and that's something you can reference back to that chart we looked at earlier, and you can follow that key to see which ones apply for the type of work you want to do. So now we're in program 422. Lock that in. Now, maybe we want to weld something real thick. So let's crank this up to the maximum, like we're going to do some heavy-duty aluminum. And now you'll see here, the amperage has automatically adjusted itself up to 200 amps, and your wire speed is at 12.5 inches per minute. So that's how the machine uses the synergistic controls in combination with being able to select the different programs that are all keyed on the inside so that you can set up the machine very quickly with not too much messing around. Now, let's take a look at some of the special functions. Now, if we just click this button here, we can run from one step to two step, we can adjust our wave balance, we can go into spot welding mode, but if we hold this same button, whoops, my mistake, if we hold this same button for three seconds, one, two, three, now we see the different programs. So for what we're doing, not every single number program will apply, but as we cycle this knob, it will let us adjust the things that we're allowed to adjust. So the first, you can see, oh whoops, not this one, cycle this knob, is start speed. So that's going to be the start speed of your wire. Next is going to be your hot start. After this, this is for your burn back controls. Here is for the pre-gas. We can adjust how much pre-gas we have, how many seconds of gas comes out beforehand. Uh, and here is to go into factory default mode, just in case you played with this too much and you've gotten a bit confused and you're not entirely sure where you are, you can just zero the whole machine again and start fresh once you figured it out. So that's a basic rundown of running through the functions. So here we are back in the main menu. And that's pretty much it. So you can see it's a pretty simple machine. Once you learn how to manipulate the controls, there's not that many of them, it becomes very simple and very easy for you to set up from process to process, from switching from different types of metal to different types of thicknesses. And also, what's great about this machine is going from MIG to stick to TIG, and again, jumping through your 99 jobs, which is something that I think is really awesome. And so that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of manipulating the front of the machine. Okay, so now that we've gone over all that, hopefully you guys are feeling pretty confident that you can navigate your way through this. Don't forget, if you have any issues, you can follow the link at the end of the video and you can call me personally and we'll go over this together. Uh, and in the meantime, please hit us up with those likes and the subscriptions. We always love to see more of that. And if you're tech savvy, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun. Thanks.